All right, so here's a speed up your computer tutorial. Since my last one, I've created a new evaluation sheet. Now with 30 points of check, we're gonna start with hard drive health. We'll use a program called Crystal Disk, which can be found at this URL. Just do standard edition. So hard drive's good, but it is 5400 RPM. That is the slowest of hard drive. Next, you type defrag in your start menu. Go to defragment and optimize. Analyze that disk. While that's doing that, we're gonna check our power mode and we wanna turn on high performance. If this option isn't, go to create a power plan and you can use it as a base. Gonna use C to check startup item. If there's nothing in your area you care about, select them all and delete URL for that. Gonna run a virus scan with ADW, which can be found there. Nine thing. Gonna clean those. Next, we go to settings. Scroll down till you see update. And this one has an update for 1903 QDA. Current version of Windows 10 is 1909, so you want to apply those. Next, we'll use a program called Patch My PC. 12 programs to update. If this is anything but optimized, check part. This laptop is here just for an evaluation. They want to upgrade it to 10 and don't know if it's worth it or capable or healthy. I mean, she's definitely going to be one that needs to be cleaned. And like, what in the heck did they do to this? Let's get started. That thing does not sound like it's breathing good. I have changed my evaluation sheet. This side is hardware, this side is software. Blech. Oh no. I do not want to. I am not clicking though. I am just gonna do my evaluation. Hard drive is good. 4% fragmentation. Battery check. Memory diagnostic. Stress test. This thing is like hardly putting out any air. And it's too hot. We checked all in and out. Moving on to software. Power option. Very good. Not too many startup items. Couple virus scans. Oh wow. A lot of crap. Three program updates. Check resource usage. Found some risk wear and tracking cookies. Now our software is done. Check out the next video if you want to know what all that means. Hello, people. Um, so I have been seeing a lot of people doing these liquid screen protectors on TikTok and YouTube lately. So I figured I would make this video of me applying one to my phone. Uh, I have applied one of these to my phone like... I don't know, a while ago, like months ago. So I'm doing another one because I think that one like went away. I don't know. But either way, I have scratches on my phone now. And I'm just going to be rubbing in. I'm cleaning it first. And now I'm trying to show you that I still do have scratches on here. This stuff doesn't fill in scratches. It would be cool, but it doesn't. Um, and so now you can see all... Oh, I have a really scratched up phone. It sucks. I'm going to go ahead and do step two, which is apply the liquid screen protector. I rubbed this thing in for so long, like 5-10 minutes, hopefully it works, and there we go. She's looking good, but check back in 24 hours. Not because I want views. If you want to learn how to put RAM in a laptop, keep watching. It's a little different for each one, but it's kind of similar, but we'll do it on this HP. A lot of people have HP. First, flip it over. Take out every screw you can see. Now take out your battery, and wow, two more screws. Now take out the DVD drive. Wow, no more screws. Check under your rubber things for extra screws. Now flip it back over. Get something thin and get it up in between there. A little bit of pressure lets it open up. And you can tell that everything is stuck to the top. So that means you'll flip it over and take the back off. Here's one of this guy's RAM sticks. It's PC3L. Get more PC3L. And then you slide it in and you push it down. Make sure it still turns on. Woohoo. Now put it all back together. And of course I can't fix a computer without cleaning it. Perfect. Some of you may have seen the video going around of how to make your computer faster, blah blah blah, from the power options. And yes, I want to say that this does work. You can get to your power options by typing in power options and editing your power plan. And you go to power options. Now, this can happen in a lot of cases. There is only balanced in this menu. So you're gonna wanna create your own power plan and then you're gonna use the template of high performance and create. Now the thing is the guy that made this video kind of totally ruined the whole idea of this. When he went to processor power management and set minimum processor state to zero, that's literally what high performance mode is supposed to prevent. It keeps your processor running as fast as it can all of the time, which as long as you have adequate cooling is good. 
and anybody who has an SSD doesn't have to worry about this. If you set this to zero, your hard drive's gonna run forever, and you see how many hard drives I replace.